Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews presents a taste challenge. We've got from Mexico, Tecate Light. Not the original 1944 version, but the later, much later introduced Tecate Light. Notice they got rid of their gold trim, just like Bush Light got rid of its gold trim. Uh, 110 calories, and the alcohol is only 3.9%, not even 4% alcohol. All right, so this is from Cuauhtémoc Moctezuma, also known as Heineken. Mexico, owned by Heineken International, as you can probably guess. Bush Light, introduced in 1989. <clears throat> it's a packaged draft beer, cold filtered draft light beer that didn't last too long. Went national in 1990. So here we are. Um, 95 calories, so much lower calorie count. And 4.1% alcohol, so two tenths of a percent higher in alcohol. Will it make a difference? I think it will. I think it's going to have a lighter body and it's going to be a crisper finish. And my rec my recollection is that, yeah, BL, Bush Light, is that the Bush Light is a cleaner taste. And I've found that the Tecate Light has sort of a health food store thing going, you know, kind of weird malts. Uh, and I'm slipping on that. Twist cap. Now, if you get a shipyard beer and try to twist a cap, you better you better have the strongest skin in the world because they just do not twist. All right. Well, they're both golden straw, but I think the Bush uh, the that's Tecate, right? The Tecate light is much more charged, a lot more bubbles. These are lazy bubbles. These are fierce bubbles. The Best Buy beat, guys. Best Buy. February of 2019. It's got a stamp twice. BB Feb 2019. BB D BBD Feb 2019. All right, the emphasizing. The Bush Light is Best Buy November 26, so it's not as fresh. November 26, 2018. But it, they're both still within their freshness range, so it should be. That should not be a factor. It really should not be a factor. All right. Tecate Light, very common in Louisiana. Cans or bottles. Don't know about draft. Bush Light, very common in Louisiana. Cans. Don't have the bottles anymore. Um, bulk merchant, a bulk merchandiser for Southern Eagle, the Anheuser-Busch distributor here said, yeah, it discontinued it. I said, you, it discontinued Bush Light. The ninth best, the ninth best selling beer in the United States. I said, I think you mean they discontinued the bottles around here. Oh yeah, maybe that's what they meant. <laughs> so they had a meeting here. So they, yeah, if the bottles weren't selling, fine. You know, this is mostly uh, this area of Louisiana, the river parishes, the parishes along the Mississippi River, northwest of New Orleans, heading toward Baton, Baton Rouge. It's sort of a canned beer area. Just see a lot of people fishing along U.S. Highway 61, along U.S. Highway 51, and in other cana canals and ponds, lakes. And really, it's a canned beer area. Even if they're sitting at home watching the Saints game or the LSU game, it's just a, it's what it is, a canned beer area, okay? Why, I don't know, it just is. Now, do you have your bottled beer devote devotees? Well, of course, yes, but it's... Much higher percentage of canned beer people here. Okay. Um, in my opinion, I don't really care either way. I don't find it makes much of a difference, but other people will claim that it does. We've mixed them up enough. There's the fridge cycling on, as you would expect it to do. Smells clean, semi-sweet, grainy, like corn grain, you know? They're using the brewer syrup, the corn syrup, like bush light. A little more syrupy note here. Mm. And I was drinking the Tecate Light sat Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. And I said, I don't know, this has a weird health food store aroma and taste. And when I grew up in the 1970s, that was like a big thing, the health food store. And they just have those weird malto syrup aromas. But the taste is going to make the difference. 
I hope. Oh, well, you know what? This tastes like the Tecate Light, because this is the one that has that weird maltose syrup thing going. This has a clean, crisp, very light body, bush light, snappy finish, and overall taste profile going forward. And John Anilli said he thinks he prefers the bush light because he finds this hoppier than the bush. I haven't noticed that. I mean, neither one of them have any kind of real hop note. I think if you want to get a hoppy light beer, you may want to get the Milwaukee's Best Light, which seems to have a it does. It was rated two out of five hop cones on the Cyclops scale, where the other American beers are all one out of five hop cones. They barely register. Um, but I think this is like one out of five hop cones in this one here. If it's one, if it gets one hop cone, maybe a half a cone. But on the sweetness scale, it's probably three out of five sugar cubes. It's kind of an unusual sweetness, but a syrupy corn syrup sweetness. True story. Whereas this one would be only a two at the most, at the extreme, two out of five sugar cubes. So very light, very light body, you know, very light body, very crisp, clean, maybe, perhaps, possibly, who knows, could it be? <laughs> Excuse me. Perhaps the best mass-produced light beer on the market. Not saying a lot, but I really do believe that Bush Light might deserve that designation as the best light beer on the market. I just am unaware of any light beer with that crisp of a finish. You say, well, what about Schlitz Light? And I'm showing these the glass and the plastic tankard. That was very clean. I don't think it was as crisp as this or as snappy. It was super dry. You say, well, crisp, dry, same thing. Well, I'm not too sure about that. It's a, it's a moot point because Schlitz Light was discontinued in 2010, so... But I remember, boy, it was, you know, in the mid-90s, it seemed like it was a big seller. You can see it at Winn-Dixie, always a low price for the suitcase. But once uh, Paps bought Schlitz from Stroh's, things seemed to go into decline as far as that was concerned. But for Schlitz itself, things seemed to go up. A bit, not a whole lot. Okay, but getting off of that, this has got to be the Tecate Light. And this has got to be the Bush Light. And Bush Light, I have to say, is much better. This will be in your B plus range and perhaps the A range for light beer. I'm talking about beer overall, but the light beer really could be a champion. I mean, a real champion. This one, no, I'm not too thrilled with it. that strange syrupiness. I think it would be more like a sea beer. Overall, and for light beer, it's not too good. C. Average. Not bad, but I wouldn't buy it. Especially considering the price point. Sold as like a above premium beer, and it is not. Um, You might be saying, what about Schaefer Light? What about Schaefer Light? You're talking about the best light beer. I do agree that if you're going to talk about that, Schaefer Light has to be brought into the conversation. And I can acquire it. It's a little expensive here for what you're getting, but if I want to play, I got to pay, right? So it's not like the old days, you know. This is not 1996 when you could get Schaefer Light for $3.99. A 12 pack, you know. Those days are long on. But I never would buy it. I would always buy the Schaefer, you know, the regular Schaefer premium beer, which such a heartbreaker that it's gone from these parts. 
suitcases, but once again, Stroh's owned it everywhere. Paps bought it nowhere, like overnight. Don't get it. Can't understand it. Won't accept it. Can't deal with it. <laughs> All right, so BL, TL, Tecate Light, you lose. Bush Light, you win by a, wa a, a wide margin. A wide margin. So does Mexican beer generally beat American beer? I think it does. Does it always do it? It does not. And in this case, it wasn't even close. But I don't think light beer is really a calling card for Mexican beer. That's, some, that's sort of an unusual thing that they do. They're probably not that good at it. Uh, whereas the American beers, American brewers are past masters of light beer. After all, they're the pioneers of the style. So I'm going to end this... I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Oh, all right.